Here we are here with Annie from Silver Creek Funner, and here is the most amazing part, which I'm about to get talked over. That's what happens when you're live. But you know, it's it's how things roll. I'm going to show you. We're going to learn how to go from this plain old leather. This is what vegan or sorry, veg tanned, veg tanned leather. To just take a look. Of course, I'm doing my thing the wrong way. To these amazing, amazing flowers. I mean, just take a look how beautiful this is, and that is coming from these pieces of leather. So we're gonna do a little quick demo here and I'm gonna let Annie take it away. So take it away, Annie. Thanks. So uh, I've already cut out this piece, kinda looks like a spiral. Um, and if you use your imagination, you can see that it's gonna end up being a rose like this. So I already cut it out. You can use scissors, this leather's pretty thin. Um, and I've also got uh, this tool that's got a kind of round ball end. Um, if you oh. don't have one of these, you can use a marble. Um, there's all sorts of options, but what we want to do is give these petals a little bit of shape. So with the top part of the leather facing me, and it's already damp with just regular water. And she just used like a spray, yep, bottle, spray bottle with some water on and it. And I just want to simple. press these petals over this round end. And I'm not worried about those wrinkles on the edges, it's totally fine. I'm it's just stretching it over because the leather is a little bit stretchy when it's wet. And I just want to get that little round shape that you know rose petals have and it makes it look so much more realistic and of course i'm kind of rushing because i don't want you to get bored but you can do this pretty quickly i'm just trying to get that stretch in as i'm getting to the smaller and smaller petals once i get to the really small ones it doesn't matter quite as much because they're going to be kind of curled up last one all right so they look kind of kind of rough right now. But now that I've begun it, I'm going to basically go back the way I came. With one hand, I'm holding the edges on here around this little, the same rounded end. And with my thumb, I'm just pushing back like the lip of the petal. Um, and holding it on here just helps it not lose its shape as I'm doing it. And then once I've done that, I know it's not gonna look like it. We're actually almost there, because then we just have to basically roll up this spiral. And I like the spiral shape because it means that you can use the same pattern, the same um, design to make either a more tightly furled rose or one that's you know looking like it's a little looser, like it's been blooming a little bit longer. And they can even end up kind of different sizes, depending on uh, you know how tightly you glue them together. I'm so, almost there. We've got some examples of the finished ones now. Oh yeah, that's what they that one looks like. like. When it's all said and done, you yeah. painted it, they're gorgeous. Okay, I gotta show that again because it's just yeah. like awesome. And look, they look can, so realistic, they're so fun. And they hold their yeah. shape. I mean, I can yeah, smash fine. it, they're like, <laughs> they're, they're there. They're not going anywhere, they're beautiful. Yeah, once the leather's dry, it's still flexible, but it will hold its shape. As long as you don't uh, dump it in a bucket of water, it'll probably be fine. And this is the same one when it's dried, right? Yep. Yeah. Now, yesterday when I was I was in their class yesterday, which is a phenomenal class, we were making uh, magnolias. Magnolias. Right there. We were. Whoops. That's a thing here. We were doing this one in class. So I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about this. But we did a little bit of some shaping on the inside. Mm -hmm. So before we did all the rolling and stuff, we used this little tool right here, which is really cool, just to add markings on the inside is really fun. It gives it some extra detail. Yeah. And then the we... roses don't really need that, fortunately. Well, yeah. now that I've got all these petals kind of a little more 3D looking, I need to start at the center, which is, you know, the part that's really curled up, the rose. So I'm just curling it with my finger and then I'm just going to pull down so it has a little bit of a lip, so those petals always do. And then as I roll this up, each place the petal connects, I'm going to sort of fold it over slightly in that spot so I'm just kind of overlapping it as I go and that way the petals will look like they are overlapping because that is how versus just roses straight look. rolling yep. it because you know straight rolling it it might look okay um, it would probably look fine but I just think they look so much more realistic if you do the overlapping because then you really get the way that they sort of come together and overlap and sometimes they can get a little flattened out while you're doing this, but it's not a big deal because once you've got it, eh, the middle's trying to escape. Once you've got it coming together, you can make little adjustments to it. 
<laughs> Hang on. It we'll got away. This we'll look at this one. There we go. And this is more of like an open one, but you can really mm -hmm. tighten it in. It's actually the, the center is the hardest part to get. Once you get that, you sort of have something to hold on to, which helps. But of course, it's getting away from me because it's being filmed. As Murphy's Law. Yep. Murphy's Law. Well, while she did that, I'm going to show you guys a couple other things. She's also taken the same leather and made it beautiful masks. So here is like some of the other work. And just look over here. Here's another one here. With this gorgeous mm -hmm. fox mask. Here's another one that hasn't been painted yet. Here's another gorgeous one. And I mean, just like, it just keeps on going and going. They're just all over. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at all the different flowers and butterflies. And this is all from leather. And some of it's the painting, but I think it's the leather that really gives that luxe, just kind of vibrant look to it. Yeah. And you guys do have paints, mm -hmm. right? Um, but you said acrylic paint just works as well? Yep, and these are acrylic paints. They're formulated for leather, but um, they are, uh, you can also use other, other kinds. It doesn't have to be a specifically a leather paint. The main thing you wanna do is make sure to put on the coats of paint nice and thin. Um, you can put multiple coats, but you just don't want to glob it on too thick because uh, then it, it won't stick quite as well. But as long as you do that, you can use a lot of different different paints. So once you get it all rolled up and you kind of get it shaped, do you want to have it hold its place to, while it dries? Um, things like uh, bottle caps. Um, I, I can personally attest that the uh, bottle caps from um, uh, screw top wine bottles are usually a, a real good shape. Um, little and cups. then you just like put it in there so it. Yep, stays. you just sort of stick it in there. Stick it in the bottom. And I, I'll hope you forgive me. This, this is not a very good example right it's now. It's still beautiful. But we'll just pretend that I just made this one. And yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, it's but the technique is the same. <laughs> and so once it's dried and gotten bone dry, yep. then you go and you paint yep, it. You un, you can unroll it because it's not going to lose its shape at this point. And you um, do any of your coloring, it's just a lot easier to get into there if you don't if you do it after it's um, if you don't do it after it's like glued. And then you roll it back up and you can sort of decide at that point how how tightly you want it rolled. You can really change the look depending on how exactly you sort of orient the petals in relation to each other. And um, once it's painted, you could have it look as soft as this one yeah. here, right? So beautiful, or you know, as vibrant as that one. And this one's just been glued into place. And what glue do you recommend for this? It it kind of depends what you're going to do with it. I um, for these these roses, I make a, a bottom piece that has four petals that we basically glue it into there. Oh. Okay. Um, and it sort of holds it in place and hides the. Got it. Hides that Got part. it. Um, you can use contact cement, which is a really good glue for leather because it's very tacky. Um, you honestly could also use hot glue. Okay. Um, it's That's good for sort of filling in that gap there. Um, and before you do that, if you want a, a stem or you want to make it a pin or whatever, you can attach um, whatever you need to to this bottom part and then glue in the other part and it, you won't like, see where it attaches. Or like a hair tie thing. So you yep. just put the, there was another one here that was like the butterfly was like that. No, mm -hmm. there's another one. It's somewhere. Well, oh, here it is. <laughs> So like the butterfly here, how you can like turn it into like a hair tie yeah. pin thing. I saw those. So that's really cool. And there's going to be kits coming out very soon, right? Yeah. That's cool. There'll be a kit for this magnolia and also a poinsettia for Christmas time. Coming very out really fun. Soon. And it's all through Silver, Silver Creek Leather. So stay tuned to their website yeah. and they'll have them all available. And they are just absolutely amazing. I just mm -hmm. think they're, I mean, tell me you guys, do you think that these are just like the coolest things ever? <laughs> I don't know. That's one of my favorite things is all these beautiful pieces here. I mean, just look at that. They're just so vibrant and gorgeous. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the awesome demo. I thank appreciate you. it. She even stayed a few minutes longer because we were in Demo Alley. And look, everybody is cleared out behind us now in Demo Alley because that's where I've been doing the last few videos. So I truly appreciate her staying with us and everybody being very patient. Thank you, thank you. Uh, there's one more video coming today. We're going to head over to the new exhibition and then we are going to be done for the day. But I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be back also the next day for more live videos. So. One more video today and then I will say adieu and I'm heading to the president's dinner, which is a really fun thing. So one more video and I will see you guys again later. Bye everybody.